Right, so here for another video from Elmer Shocks Networks. Okay, so for today's video, we're gonna talk about the CG Nat. CG Nat. So, CG Nat means career grade network. Address translation. So, from the name itself, network address translation. So, from here, what does it the address means? It means a the IP address stands for Internet Protocol Address. So, for this, I'm gonna connect through the internet. This is the, the internet network. And the internet is just composed of networks of networks. So, here you got ISP1, Internet Service Provider 1, ISP2, or Google. Facebook so in the internet you're just advertising your network through public so here is a public public so if you're subscribed in ISP2 so here you're connected here and you're connected at your home so since the internet is a public place it means IP address are public. Public. IP address, public. So, you cannot communicate through the internet if you're using a private IP address. So, each ISP needs a range uh, from of IP address that will be assigned to it. So, for example, this ISP2, it has a uh, IP address of range so it has its own public IP pool it has its own IP public pool so so IP address is assignment are coming from IP NIC IP NIC yes so they are the governing standards of IP address so that's why going back here, what is a CGNAT? It's a career grade network address translation. Translation means uh, public to private or vice versa. Public to private or vice versa. So from your home, you get a modem. Uh, modem. So there's a modem at your home. Then if you check, uh, the IP address at home it is a private private IP set if you're dynamic so private IP address is assigned to your modem to your one network one so, wide area network so that's why you can see a private before you can communicate through the internet you need to translate those IP address into a public. So that's why this is the spot for the CGNAT. CGNAT. Okay. So that's why the CGNAT. Career Grade Network Address Transition. So that is the function of the CGNAT. In order for the private IP address, the consumer, to be able to communicate through the internet, you need to translate your private IP address to public IP address. And the same and vice versa. From internet going to your home is public to private. So that's why CGNAT plays a role for that. In order, you cannot bypass a CGNAT network for that. Unless you avail a static IP 
from your ISP network. So that's why, yes, that's why in order to have, since static, we're talking about static, you will be able, when you enroll this to your ISP, you will, when, you will be able to get a public IP on your modem. And that's the public static public address. So why do we need uh, why do we need static for commercial in order to communicate if you're out not in your home and you need to communicate on your inside network, you just need to communicate the public IP from the internet then you can enable uh, you will be able to access your home network from it so yes that's why if you have a CCTV system at home then you need a static IP address if you want to see the what's going on in your home through the internet but for a consumer base but it it comes with an extra cost for static plus cost you need to request this for your ISP so that they can provide it. Okay, so that's the function of a CGNAT, a career grade network address translation. IP address from public to private or private to public. Okay, aside from address, it can also translate port, but it depends on the application. Port level translation is already in a different topic uh, but will be tackled if somebody requested it so you uh, if you find this video helpful on your learnings please do share and like this page so thank you for this session this is your Elmer Shocks networks explaining the basic of the networking IP so guys thank you and subscribe and bye. Thanks.